Why, then, O oh brawling love, O oh loving hate, O oh anything of nothing first create? O oh heavenly lightness, serious vanity, mishappen chaos of well-seeming forms. Father of lead, bright smoke, cold fire, sick held, still waking sleep that is not what it is. This love feel I that feel no love in this. Dost thou not laugh? Romeo and Juliet from the dude that we pretty much all know, whoever finished a little bit of schooling and uh, let's say theatrical teachings. So all the actors, all the playwriters, they have these little examples of oxymoronic writing, wherein 2486 10 lines, he has seven oxymoron words. Title Using your talents to hide your flaws, the biggest and darkest oxymoron of any times. So, in definition, oxymoron is by Greek, very wise dudes, meaning oxy equal sharp and moron it's dull or idiot so when you say somebody is oxymoron it's very sharp idiot <laughs> or the dull wise man so when you put these two very opposite things together like in a very common political arena where we now seeing a total mostly moronic <laughs> behavior but at the same time it is very very appealing to many of you when they say war on terror so they want to terrorize you with a war or they want to make a war because they want to put you in a terror I really have no idea I have to find somebody who want to discuss with me still looking for somebody that we have to ta start changing these words and memes and protocols and announcements to truly means what they these creatures have in their mind or in their back of their mind because they are saying one thing they're thinking another thing and then doing a completely opposite of these two things so meaning they have no moral and honest ways so whoever is writing or posing themselves in this way and they want to pers persuade you that you have to just follow their you know, frigging dark lead and they will bring you into the light it's impossible because the dark magicians cannot bring you into light they're not disclosing the truth they calling conspiracy theory conspiracy it's somebody is conning you and they're claiming this is just a theory but at the same time they're conning you through the words they already put in your face democratic snowflakes snowflakes gentle beautiful not aggressive non-violent little you know parts of nature that we are receiving from the sky yet when you see what these democratic creatures are saying and doing to Trump and to his administration and to Putin and pretty much all the sane world they want us or you to keep you in insane asylum open secret society some of our friends Soroshis and the rest 
You cannot have an open secret. This is the worst oxymoronic approach to any kind of, uh, let's say, governmental idea. They want to govern you. They want to lead you with deception. They want to guide you towards light, but you have to climb through the gutters, through the darkness. Impossible. You have your original copies. This is where they ask you when you do apply for a loan for something within the bank or government and they already copied you as soon as you born. They made a, a clone of your existence called Strawman and they just pounding every time more and more debts, more and more accusations, more and more moronic approaches towards your energies. So your energetic being becomes so confused because hearing one thing and actions from these creatures are completely different and they're putting you in confused state of mind that where you while looking something happening here with the other hand or with the other claw or with the other tentacle they go into your pocket or into your energy field and just steal from you as much as they can until they come next morning and they discover another oxymoronic approach alien disclosure so aliens are who the people who are coming in the country the aliens coming from the sky planet they're coming from underground raising up in their all you know dark darkness we don't have to disclose this the only thing you have to find it's within you how do you feel about somebody who's not honest doesn't matter politician news guy these conspiracy theorists kind of Alex Jones and and Billy Hicks clones so where is our end if you continue using our talents real creative talents to hide all our flaws because we don't want to admit them we don't want to accept them that we are flaw flawed society we are flawed humanity we live and feed of darkness and we hope we're going to achieve ascension or light will go into the light yeah right <laughs> never never through this attitude so all these new age teachings are total oxymoronic approach new age agenda is absolutely disgrace towards humanity political agenda when they're telling you be patriots go another country and kill another nation is this oxymoronic or is it just absolutely moronically evil they tell you you can be a paid volunteer like the clinton confederation of the thieves are doing it or oh, they were doing it until now they are going into a public airplane space because reason why they don't have any funds so they have to travel economy class well first class the biggest morons that you took very seriously ex-president and wanna be a president can you believe that these creatures are tricking you for decades they're tricking you because you as a as a sane american population of humans of sane humans has to make a decision what and how to see these creatures billy the clintons and killary rotten ham clinton who are they to you especially are they your idols are they your worst enemies or you just ignore them put them on the side yet they have a, a 
crony after crony after crony through all the media, TVs and networks and ex-presidents and politicians, they are bidding their dirty war. Because none of you is daring to say out loud in their face, shut the fuck up, Hillary. I don't want to hear a single word. Whoopi Gilbert, you absolute not oxymoronic moron, you're just like stupid idiotic moron with words and attacks that she continue doing publicly and you are paying by your attention. Americans, I mean, I mean this creatures will not disappear until you drown them in their own stupidity by not engaging with them ever again. You tell them if they do one more time something like this, they'll be penalized for treason because they are attacking openly duly elected president. Publicly on the TV. I mean, this is their corpus diem right there, like it's in your face. And what to do with this? How to claim it? How to claim really your sovereignty without reacting? on these kind of stupidities. You cannot be ignorant anymore, my friends. You cannot be moron who sits and watch a TV without pretty much reacting differently that they want you to react. You watch a horror movie, I laugh. I find a stupid tricks they're trying to pull on you. But people, most of the people, freak out and they create enormous energetic emotional dark body around them and these creatures are like you are their best ice cream they are best you know cake sprinkled with a dark shit so when and how you need to stop being afraid is when you realize what they're feeding you it's absolutely idiotic and not to be more idiot that you are already, you have to start saying the truth. That this is idiotic. Clinton, Hillary, this is stupid. This is oxymoron. You cannot call for a peaceful killing of other nations. You cannot. You cannot blame Russians for all the things that you are doing in the background. Yeah, if a criminal, a big criminal in Russia is Russian, why are you putting all the blames on all the Russians, especially on the Putin? This being is actually saving your ass by giving Trump all the data that Snowden provided to him and many others that they really received from all different sources. So Trump will not need WikiLeaks in this case. It will be just confirmation what Snowden already is going to disclose. Well, it will not be Snowden, it will be Trump through his uh, administration. Yet, who's going to suffer the most? You, if you think that Hillary and all the others will not pay finally for their crimes. And this is what Putin delivered. The ball is in your court, meaning all the data, 173 terabytes of pure data, all the informations that were delivered from Snowden to Putin.com to Wikileaks.com to or through.com through Seth Rich into a new and born let's say, agency of the truth that Trump is building. But he cannot just create a new agency or new truthful entity before he cleans all the other dirt. You cannot pull, put a fresh water into the cup that it's already muddy, dirty. You have to wash it, you have to clean it up, you have to sterilize it. And you have to absolutely be sure when you're done with this, there is not a single mold left in your cup. And then you put a clean drinking water for all to enjoy. 
we've been absolutely abused. Yet many of us, let's say with a different talents, with a different uh, wisdoms, we allow to be tricked. And we, because of our vanity, as Bacon says, serious vanity. It's total oxymoronic behavior of us humans who think that if we buy a second car or third car or we have a, I don't know, millions and billions in stock market, we are vain, but we are very warnable because once when this is gone, you, what's happened? You're going into nothing. You're devolving. You're actually disintegrating because your vanity will eat you from the inside. Because you're feeding yourself for all these years that you are, let's say, adult, and you've been brainwashed that material goods are the only goods that you have to own without owning your integrity, without owning your own sanity, without owning your own truth. So where is your end? You cannot start living until you finish living this dark oxymoronic life. To finish with the oxymoron, non-governmental organizations or I feel love that is not the love for all of these creatures who has not a single humanity within and they cannot be among us anymore. But you have to choose who's going to be your lead, who's going to be your announcer, who's going to be anchor on TV and who's going to be your partner, spouse and the rest of the people around you by your own stance, by your own truth. So be it.